a place we've never seen him before. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh what is up guys, SK here, and today we're going to go ahead and do a revision video to the cooking video I did recently about making beer. This time with all the Xbox things added in. Because it did change quite a bit when it came to go ahead, when it came to getting everything moved over. So, we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to com compensate for that. I have everything I need to go ahead and make beer already, but just to go over it again, you're going to need to talk to... David Finto and Velia, if that's going to be your main place, just find your chef in your main city. And you're going to have to buy a cooking utensil. For the beer recipe, you're going to need leaving agents. You're going to need two leaving agents, one sugar, and six mineral water. They're all sold by the, um, by the chef. And then you're going to want to get your residence, which my residence is over here as well in Velia. Like I said, Velia is my main stop. This is probably where I'm going to be for the rest of the game. At least one character is going to be here to supplement everything. Now they made it to where you have to press, you have to hold Y to open a door. And once you get inside, it changes your button scheme. So you can no longer look at your skills or anything. You can no longer do any of that. So they changed it to where you can take off all your armor by pressing the directional pad. You can go into your inventory by pressing the directional pad down and turn off your, um, your pets and your maids by pressing the directional pad right. But that doesn't seem to work right now. Oh no wait, there's my, oh the extra pets that you have, okay. Wow, that's pretty sad. <laughs> so, what you're going to want to do is press up on the directional pad and to set your cooking utensil, you're just going to grab your cooking utensil. Like I said before, it's going to show as red if you can't place it, because there's something in the way, and blue if you can place it. What you're going to do is you're going to rotate it, oh you have to hold it to rotate it actually. And then stick it against the wall. It's not even fully rotated right. I wish they just did corner rotations like you know how other things do, but that's fine. So press A to install and then you press B to quit. Go back out. Alright. So when you go into the cooking utensil, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna press Y to select, and you're going to find everything you need. You're gonna put it in there and it's gonna show up as one for now. It's going to look confusing, but it's going to show us one for now, which is fine. And then you're going to press Y to confirm. Now we'll let you go ahead and scroll up to how many ever materials you need for that one thing. So you're going to need six mineral waters, scroll over. You're going to need two leaving agents, scroll over, you're going to need one sugar. And then scroll over and you're going to need five of the corn or potatoes, whatever you're using. Then you're going to press start cooking. You're going to hit multiple times. And it's going to tell you, of course, what I told you before in the other video, that, you know, you only place one enough for one batch, and it's going to keep on using what you have in your inventory. And press all, and it's going to make everything that you have in your inventory into beer until it runs out of space or until you run out of space. Now, as you see, I have some of the byproducts here. For some reason, they took out the proccing of the beer, so the beer doesn't proc into the good beer. The rare bear, the rare quality bear, rather, and it doesn't proc into the the dish that gives you CP EXP, which is kind of lame, but yeah, that was one thing I was looking forward to was the CP dish, but hopefully with the next patch, hopefully. So yeah, see, it makes it, it's gonna keep making beer on top of that, it's gonna give you whatever your your thing is the strongly seasoned dish is the one that you're gonna want to take to get milk if you're gonna make milk tea and stuff like that. The taking out food is gonna go to high dell to um, get your cooking exp, and this one gives you silver for every five, so that's kind of decent. I mean, it's not as good as 3,000 silver every five, and this one's gonna get you two more beer. I mean, it's gonna get you one beer for every two pieces of dish traded in. So another thing other people wanted to know was how to feed your workers. To feed your workers is pretty simple. You're going to go over your beer, you're going to press A, and it's going to take you to the screen right here. Now under your workers, like their, I guess their mugshot, <laughs> um, you're going to see this little orange bar. If the orange bar is like, you know, not close to being full or whatever, you can go ahead and fill them up if you want to, if you're, you know, OCD about the filling up your 
keep everything filled at once thing. To recover, it's gonna say at the bottom right here, at the bottom of that screen, press right trigger and A to recover all. It's gonna take you to this screen, you just press A again. If you had different types of beer, it would take you to the different types of beer to, of course, you know, recover that, but you're gonna recover and then it shows you everything workers to recover and how much recovered and that. That's pretty much it, you recovered all your workers. For some reason this guy didn't recover though. So we're gonna recover him solo. I think he actually used that a bit of energy while I recovered the rest. Yeah, so they're only gonna use one. This screen is also where you would level up your worker to promote your worker um to change their skills. At level 10, level 20 and level 30, you can try to get your worker to the next tier. The thing about that is at the lowest at level 10 it is it's all RNG the highest chance of RNG being at level 30 of course so if you're gonna want your worker to like 100% not even, it's not even 100% at level 30 actually if you're gonna want the highest chance to get your worker to promote you're gonna want to do it at level 30 so I'm gonna do all mines at level 30 and at level 30 I believe it's level 30 on the artisan rank you can change their skills I'm not too sure about that right now because I haven't done it in a long time. I haven't messed with my worker skills in a long time, but I will go ahead and make another video on that when I get that information back. I'm going to have an artisan worker pretty soon because of this giant that I hired. This one was a lucky giant. I don't know what happened. That that was just random. Um, but yeah, you can change your skills to optimize to what you want them to do in a certain town. So say if, the, if I'm going to have this worker completely just gathering gathering corn you can give him plus luck you can give him uh, plus gathering ability so you can get extra corn and every time that he does you can give him extra movement speed just stuff like that and that's pretty much that for this video guys when it comes down to making your beer feeding your worker beer because um, you got to keep your workers working and motivated you feed them beer for some reason my character thinks the pot is all the way back here graphical issues anyway so when it comes down to that that's pretty much how you're gonna feed your workers and make your beer and that's that for that video guys that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching like subscribe and share if you found this useful pass on to someone else if they need help with the game and you know peace